Hello guys and welcome to episode 12 of my Berezina campaign in Still Division 2 playing on the Axis side. Today we're going to be attacking the Soviet battalions and brigades north of Borisov once again. Previously we did a lot of damage to the 31st Tank Brigade and now we are trying to capitalize on that by wiping them out for good. That will remove the majority of the T-3485s on the entire campaign map I believe. It might even be the last tank brigade with T-34s that we have to deal with. Anyway, got to decide what I want to attack with. I'm tempted to use the 1st Battalion of the 31st Panzer Regiment, but I don't think we need to. And since the 5th Tank Regiment and the 1446th South Propelled Artillery Regiment have come up behind us, I'm tempted to turn around those Panthers and instead attack the 5th Tank Regiment. That would be quite a simple attack for us to make. We could probably one-on-one one one more or less with the 1st Battalion of the 31st. And if not, we always have more troops down here that would happily join us. So I'm thinking maybe I just use Battlegroup Walter and the 3rd Battalion of the 350th Infantry Regiment to fight against two of any of these units. Because if we attack the 31st Tank Brigade, since they're disorganized, they take up one slot and then they'll reinforce with two of the extra ones, most likely the two strongest, so that would be the 3rd Guards Mechanized Corps and the 3rd Motorized Rifle Battalion. Now this would be quite annoying, they do have all of the Andrushas that their AI loves to pinpoint onto your units, but I think it'll be okay. We do of course have our Night Bomber Group, and if I just commit with these two units, the 3rd Battalion of the 350th with the Grenadiers and Battle Group Walter with the remainder of their units, Plus the uh, aircraft, I reckon we could break down uh, any Soviet forces that come our way. That saves the Panthers from having to get involved. Let's do that. We will tactical battle. We'll set it to player control and jump on in. This will be quite a tough battle, but the key here is just to keep my unit spread out as much as possible in order to avoid being wrecked by Andrushas. So I don't really want any two Grenadiers in the same tree line per se. I might have to unload them in the same tree lines to begin with but then we'll just spread out or fan out from there. So those can all be in the center and it's tempting to bring in the Grenfjord, but since we're spreading out, that's not going to be too useful. We're going to have our units on this right-hand side that can push up. I'm going to have most of them unload relatively early, uh, because they might have things like AT guns that can just pop our units from a distance. So we're going to try and avoid that as much as possible going to have a few units on this left side initially. Cool. Then what I'm going to want to do is have like a recon JU-87 and a bunch of bombers. Maybe even bring in like some recon or something. If I could use an AF clutter in the town, like in the church, it's not a bad idea. And we could do the same on this left side actually. I'm going to have to drive down into the church. And the rest can just be bombers. So what's nice about the JU-87D3 with the 250 kilogram bomb is it is a bit faster. Do we have any of the 450s? We do. Yeah, the 251s are probably the best bet initially. They reload relatively quickly, but they're also fast. So if there's any AA, which I think there is, they have some M17s with the third motorized rifle battalion. We're going to want to take those out, so first things first, we just got to find them, and then we'll just bomb them. I'll probably need like three of them, I guess, in order to take out an M17. We're not being fired at yet, maybe they haven't brought it in. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, so we found that one, we'll just bomb that quickly. We don't want to lose my recon, if possible. I 
Oh, no way. Don't crit that. Please. Right, I'm hoping that's done the trick. Oh, let's just unload these. There is another M17 there. Okay, we're going to have to deal with that at some point. Let's have these spread out. I'll just move up through here. I haven't really seen much yet. Oh, here comes an Andrusha. I'll wait until I have one more JU-87 and then we'll try and kill that M17. And then once all of the AA is sorted, we can look into killing Andrushas or whatever else we find further back. I think killing the Andrushas is going to be quite a high priority just because they are going to do a lot of damage to my infantry and it looks like they have quite a lot of them on the field I'm just having that one break off a little bit main reason being is so that the pin on those units isn't spread amongst them all Hopefully two will do the job. Nice. Okay, good. One of my grenadiers did get absolutely wrecked by the enormous amount of Andrushas they used on one target. So there is that. Are right, they going to have like two more of those? Two more M17s, I think? We're still making ground on the right. Uh, we are still moving up in the center. It may get a little difficult as we get towards this hill, but we'll see. Let's get the JU-87 into the right-hand side. See what we can find. They do have some T-34s, actually, I, I believe. I'm going to have to worry about those. Some Andrushas we can kill. Oh, there they are. Is that T-34s? Yeah, it is. Cool. Well, we definitely just bomb the Andrusha. Was that the M17? I think it is. Just gonna fly back towards that briefly because I'm having these spread out. Okay, cool. Now they can all go towards it. That should have killed both of those. Is that two more Andrushas there? If it is, we'll bring in a big bomber to get rid of those. Let's see if that did the job. I might just be the truck reloading the Andalusia. Yeah, it looks like that did the job. Okay, cool. I start pushing up a bit more here with these grenadiers. We can probably keep pushing through these trees with those grenadiers. We haven't spotted anything ahead of us here just yet. I'm not even sure if I want to focus on these mortars, actually, if that's what they are. Because they aren't firing much, and they're not going to be terribly effective, not 120mm mortars. The thing I really need to take care of is the, the tanks and any infantry and stuff we come up against so that I can continue to make ground. Like here, for example. I just want to bomb these Gavada and stuff. In order to make ground. Uh, I'm going to bring in a couple MG42s. They will help us at range. I 
And that left the building, which is really good for us. Because it means that bomber, I was going to say, might get the kill, but never mind. Damn, is that another T-34 on the left-hand side? I'm going to have to save these bigger bombers for the T-34s. Because otherwise there's no way I'm going to kill them. But we're making ground in the center. I might be able to push through here. It depends. We'll give it a go. The tanks were here. I don't think we'll get the grenadiers into line of sight. Let's just unload here and push these up. Nice. This is this two down. Now there's not a massive rush here. It's just the longer we wait, the more artillery they are going to have. And those 120 mils can get obnoxious if there is a lot of them. Ooh, that's not good. I didn't realize they'd gone back into the building. Oh, shit. That is not good timing. That is absolutely awful timing. I might kill the Comrati, that's fine. But I'm going to want to target these guys directly. Alright, we're going to need some more Grenadiers in the center, I guess. <laughs> that's uh, unfortunate. <laughs> Vizivod have decided to come and get us. It's annoying. <laughs> I need to find the T-34s here. I'm going to have these grenadiers move up to the edge of the tree line. See what they can find. Oh, is that going to be an SG firing at the Grenadiers? Yeah, it is. Oh, I lost a Kubel. Oh, that was, I guess, the other Kubel there? Not sure. Anyway. Kill off those motorcycles now. Kill off that Zis 2. We are slowly but surely making ground, which is nice. Get my other JU-87 in so we can continue recon. I'm going to double bomb the VZ VOD. Don't tell me a motorcycle took out two of my grenadiers. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> oh dear. That would never happen if that was my motorcycle. <laughs> never. Oh well. I'm still doing okay. We still have our Stug actually. I'm not sure how many JU-87s I'll need to kill a T-34, but we'll just send three to the left for the time being to kill that one. And then we can just continue on this left side with those grenadiers. Oh, 
And we're doing pretty well at the moment. We're actually going to cause them a minor defeat in 24 minutes, currently. Oh, three did the job. Nice. Just gonna bomb all of these transports and stuff. We'll start saving up for more bombers to hit the tanks there. We've just moved into phase B, so they got a big old income boost. Well, not any more than we got, but. I'm going to have to be on point with killing these Andrushas that are coming in. I'm going to target the Andrusha that spelled to fire first. That's apparently not in range to throw its HE, which is good. I missed completely on the left hand side there. I got three units here anyway. I'm going to stop that firing. Oh, come on. The first three hits, right on target. That is a joke. <laughs> Classic AI stuff going on right now. Right, let's get rid of those other two Andrushas before they fire. And then the big boys, they need to be targeting the tanks, but we can't do that until we spot them, so. We'll just have to take it easy for now. I guess I could uh, maybe bomb the truck there. Oh, you are kidding me. That did not miss that badly. <laughs> uh, this is quite something, isn't it, guys? <clears throat> Alright, so I bombed that so I could move my grenadiers up here, basically. I'm going to bomb these Gavardia, get rid of those, move these ones back. Okay, good. That unit. Just gonna move my MG up on the hill. Now this J87, with any luck, will just wipe out that for us. Yep, good. have these full back and we'll bring in some more infantry to the center I think I guess I'll just bring in the rest of it bring in a Grenfjord to the left not even sure if this is a good idea definitely something in here though so we'll just bomb that quickly oh that's not good at all please don't say they threw a grenade 
don't think they did. Thankfully. Alright, where's my recon planes at? I need to get them back up in the sky. I can see what the hell's going on. I wonder how many 250 kilogram bombs it will take to kill a T-34. So there's this two there, we can take that out. <clears throat> well, we killed one. We might have killed the second one if we'd hit it. I don't think we have to worry about Andalusias anymore, so that's good. And for some reason they're still bringing in a lot of AT guns. Minor defeat in 18 minutes. For the AI. I'm literally just targeting every infantry unit I can see. As soon as we see it. Nice, that's a good kill. Onto the tank there. A lot of mortars back there, but I'm not going to focus on the mortars. We just need to focus on infantry. That is the main thing. Going to bring in a bomber to kill that Dushka. And I may as well be buying in the rest of my bombers, so let's just do that. Cool. Oh boy, that's a lot of infantry. <laughs> Hello. bomb the crap out of that, that's for sure. I'm just going to have a couple more MGs up there. Those all cancel. Yeah, they cancelled. <laughs> Annoying. We'll just give them manual orders. Give it a good guess. They had like a fighter then or something, but yeah, it's just a recon aircraft. And these are just gonna leave. Because they're not doing anything helpful right now. Make sure we kill off that Mont Alto. Remove across these grenadiers. Uh, probably gonna have to move back this unit. Let's change the target there. To help out my grenadier unit. Well, 
Jo. Also it's starting to bring in more of these Motrasvedka, which is not good. I'm going to bring in my back 40s and IGs and stuff now, though. That's not good. That's not a good engagement at all. Not sure we're going to get away from that before they die. Let's see about pushing through to the other side. Just there. Uh, what I can do... is just have a few of these bomb in advance as we come in into the edge of the tree line. Oh. Now all of these are Asvetkas. They all have mot aptos in them. This is pretty scary. I'm going to unload these early. Uh, this one we can just unload and unload into there, and we'll just push that through with the grenadiers. Oh, that's not good. <coughs> so annoying. Having to manage against the infantry at this point is just a pain in the ass. Alright, currently six minutes left. And now they're, the bombers are firing. <laughs> well, not the bombers, the mortars. They weren't firing for like the whole time. Oh well, still gonna win in five minutes, just gotta hold on a little bit. This is uh, quite a precarious attack. Make sure any bombers that are moved, used up are out of there, and then we can just do this. Lovely. We'll wait until these do their bombing strikes, and then we'll tell them to leave. I am going to try and kill some of these mortars off. Well, they are all going back. My pack 40 died. That's annoying. Oh, 
and have to bring in the 50 millimeter mortars to just hold this. Have the JU87 D3 has come forwards again. There's only 14 seconds left until victory, actually. No. No more use of the JU87s. I guess I could have had like all of the JU87s once I had that many of them on auto strike. I wonder how well that would have done. But uh, regardless, we killed, I think, all of the Andarushas. We killed, must have killed most of the Zistus. Uh, we only lost 17 in the end, which actually isn't too bad. Uh, a lot of Grenadiers did die. Any that died to the Andaroshas is fine. Uh, losing a couple there to the 120mm mortars at the end is kind of a pain, but that's okay. It could have been worse. That was a successful attack, regardless, because we used two relatively weak units to now destroy the tank brigade there. There we go. I might have actually left some of these in a bit of a weird position. Ultimately, I think what I'm going to do is probably attack the 3rd Motorized Rifle Battalion with the 505th Heavy Panzer Battalion rather than the 87th. Because I need to push back the 3rd Guards Mechanized Corps so they can't initiate on the 3rd Battalion of the 350th. Otherwise things are going to get awkward. So let's do that attack. It's going to be a pretty simple one. We could even wait until phase B to disorganize the 220th. What would we be up against? There's only one 45 mil here. We've got some Motavtos and the Gavardia. Now all of these have close range AT, so I'm going to have to use my recon. But otherwise, should be fine. They are going to bring in some aircraft, but we do have our own AA. There's only one unit of aircraft coming in because the Phase B units. Hopefully the map's not too big. Uh, this isn't that big. Could be worse. I'm not sure if I want to concentrate this AA. Because this is the... Assault Regiment. Shit. That's the IL-2s. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well. We're going to be sending a Tiger across each of these bridges. I have one up here. Guess we'll probably have a like a tiger sit on this right hand side. I think I'm gonna have to split up these AA units, you know, because otherwise strikes are just gonna overwhelm our tigers. I could always like bring them together later on. Okay. I'm gonna get an Alfclara to sit in that church. And we'll probably do so on the left-hand side as well. There's, not, there's a church there. We might be able to get to it if I zoom across with an Alfgrader. He's on a Kettengrad, which is kind of cool. And these <laughs> Kettengrads are really awesome. All right, then we'll do like a Pioneer unit in the middle. And... I guess that's about it. We'll just save the rest of the points. Or the, the, the single point. <laughs> I guess I could maybe use it on the Speer Troop. Mm. Yeah, we'll, we'll use it in the center. I can probably... Have them like unload on the edge of the hill there. To just see what's coming towards us. Now these are two star SDKF Z71s, so they are going to do quite a bit of damage to the IL-2s, but unless they are concentrated, I don't think 
they're going to be able to stop more than one at a time. I'm surprised it didn't stop to fire. We'll bring in the leader, Tigers, next. Let's unload these just in case. Are oh, we going to need something to put here? I guess I'll just bring in another tiger. Well, that's the AT gun destroyed that we were up against. Cool. Let me start driving across that bridge a little bit. Well, I guess we, uh, <laughs> I guess we took control of the center, eh? Let's get my tiger up onto this hill. We do want it to get to phase B, preferably. I thought that was an IL-2 with rockets then, but it's just the recon. No problemo. Let's bring in my Pioneer over here, we'll bring in the Spooter up as well. So I can spot for the Tigers against those Motavtos. I'm also going to need like an Alfclader or maybe just another Pioneer unit here that can spot for the Tiger. I guess I'll have this Pioneer just run across. It's fine. I might just have the Shapiro through. Move into that church for the time being as well. Seven minutes until a major defeat, which is perfect because it's now five minutes and 30 seconds until phase B. This is going to work out perfectly. Maybe worth just uh, moving up to the crossroad here with the Tigers, and uh, I guess I could also move up the SDK of Z71 and uh, the Afkara as well to the church. I'm not even sure I want to find these units now. If I'm completely honest. Because it's pretty perfect as it is. I don't want to take these extra points on the left hand side and speed up the game. I can kill these uh, Gavardia and Motavtos though. Maybe bring in the Alfclara. Help hunt those down. Zoom, zoom, Ken Grad. Look at him go. Tiger moving up on the left side there. 
I love views like this. It just makes the game look so cool. Let's keep it sped up. Probably going to try and cross the bridge, I would imagine, to get back to friendly lines. If not, we can just have the pioneers find them. That one might actually get shot down. Yep, we got it. Cool. Oh, that's not good. That's actually a, an AT rocket variant. We get hit by another one of those, we might lose the tiger. <laughs> Alright, cool. Job done, major victory. That'll do. Don't need a total victory anyway. Great. So the 220th Sapper Battalion got involved, and that means they are going to be disorganized, I assume. Yep. All of them disorganized. Alright. Now we have the issue of the Third Guard's Mechanized Corps moving behind us, but I don't think there's going to be too much of an issue. We can destroy them and meet up with the 505th Heavy Bata Panzer Battalion, so that's okay. And then we can hit the 5th Tank Regiment. We've just forced all of these units back. We've utterly destroyed their attack towards Jadenka. This is actually ridiculous. But uh, regardless, that's unfortunately been my time, so I am going to leave it here. And next time around, we'll finish off the 3rd Guards Mechanized Corps, and then we'll hit the 5th Tank Regiment. Hope you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.